Um, when have you seen evil in the world and tried to act against it? Well, I'm, you know, I, coming out of a Catholic social justice tradition, um, uh, I saw my mother, and we're right in the Edmonton's Chinatown, Little Ukraine, a bunch of variety of, uh, of uh, ethnocultural groups in this neighborhood. My mother, when I was a child, was one of the people who created, and she was the lead person in creating a multicultural arts program right here in the inner city. A lot of the participants were Chilean refugees from the U.S.-backed Pinochet regime, uh, which killed or disappeared 3,000 people. Um, my mother created that program in order to help people deal with the, the suffering that they had and to bring people together. And she was one of the, because of that program, she was one of the people who created Heritage Days, which is the largest multicultural festival in the world. It's right here in Edmonton. Your mom helped to, uh, she was right. one of the founders of That's Heritage right. Days? Exactly, yes. Ooh. I'll put you, yes, there we go, good. How, so, uh, how, you, yeah. you just never do that? I don't high five. No. That's you are goal. so much more cool than I am. Okay. So at any rate, um, the thing is that, uh, you know, we saw, as kids, my sisters and I, we saw people overcoming difficulties that fled persecution and so forth. And, uh, and my mother demonstrated that, you know, you could help, you couldn't, you couldn't change the past, but you could change the present and thereby the future. And uh, so, you know, when I was 16, when my sisters was already involved in local anti-apartheid activism, so I became involved in that. And then I became involved in other social justice work, particularly for peace against war. And uh, and a variety of other uh, a variety of other venues. So, you know, it's not an it's not a tough thing to get involved in in trying to make the world more just. In fact, to me, it seems the most natural thing. And especially coming out of a faith tradition that said that you are supposed to be engaged with the world. You know, in the Gospels, Jesus didn't go on the lecture tour and get big checks for giving homilies. He didn't um, write books, have them printed, you know, have a nice Mediterranean palace. He got involved. He was an activist. He was with the people who were the most despised and the most oppressed. He went out and said, what I've got to teach, this isn't just for our group. This is for everybody. This is supposed to make the world better. Now, that's a pretty good model. And I think, you know, since, you know, I was raised a Christian, and we were taught you're supposed to emanate Christ, you're supposed to try to do what he did. It's incumbent upon all of us, regardless of our faith tradition, because you don't have to accept those as literal facts to say that this is a good way to live and make the world more just. And it's, it's within our powers. And besides which, you know, life is much more beautiful and powerful and moving when you try to make the world more just. If all you do is attend to your a crass consumerist needs and buy another iPod and buy another, you know, SUV and buy a Hummer, you know, it consumes enough gasoline that it's probably ripping down a, a whole hectare of rainforest every time it just, you turn it on. And what kind of a life is that? It's an empty, shallow life. But when you know that you're doing things that help people regain the dignity that is their birthright, uh, and you're not doing it to magnify your own ego, because if you are, then that's totally empty. It's like giving money to the temple coffers because you want everybody to see, look at me, I'm so generous. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it because you know that your dignity and your life and your soul are inseparably connected to, to those of other people, even people who you, know, you have been defined as your foes, you're all in it together, life is a lot better. And I want to... I want to because we, we're going to go to a commercial right now. But what I'd like to find out evil. is just the evil commercial. Yeah, you know what? The I fact that we have to break for commercial, not the commercial itself. I'm sure it's a fine commercial. Uh, I don't know if it's very good or not, but uh, I hear tell it's okay. Uh, but I, I want to ask you, like, and I want to get, like, you've, a lot of times you're tough to pin down because I want to get the specific. I want to get the specific incidents instead of the general overall view. I want to like to find out from when you saw evil and you did something about it specifically in an incident. Okay. Good. So two or three Nazis came out onto the front porch. Uh, one had a rifle, one had a shotgun. Uh, it was certainly pretty scary. 